It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Hmm. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Sometimes I get spooked, yeah. Oh. Okay, Abby? Have a good day. Have a good You see any bears? On Ivan Thomas trail, the horses were scared of me, so they went back a bit. And finally, they passed me. Uh, yeah, I'm removing lots of rocks from the road. It's going to be helpful on the way down. I'll ride my bike. There's still uh, tons of rocks. Continuing on Ivan Thomas Road, as you can see the overgrown, also tons of rocks. I already removed with this mesheta. I was clearing uh, this uh, area so I can uh, move along. For uh, the hundred people that will follow along this trail, you're welcome. And uh, yeah, technically, I should have maybe left my bike lower, but uh, who knows? Maybe on the way down, I'll somehow try to ride it without. Uh, Getting myself in trouble. We'll see. Yeah, I gotta do more clearing behind me. Now I'm looking the way I came up. A lot of bush that needs to be removed so it will uh, facilitate my. Uh, Descend with a bike. Yeah, I'm not gonna film uh, much when I chop this because uh, I need to use both hands. It's not going to. I need to hold one branch with uh, one hand and chop it with the other. So. I just, uh, just want to show you how dense the bush is. You know, you ride a bike and uh, then there are rocks underneath. You don't see them because of bush. And then uh, what happens is it's pretty obvious. Even with a mesheta, you can't win through all this jungle, you know. This is supposed to be a bike pass. And yeah, I just cleared some uh, lower fallen logs. Did lots of clearing, but now I gave up. It takes too long. At least I have some nice section on the way down where I can ride my bike. This is my location on Google Earth relative to Fisher Peak. I will show you in a bit the trail which is uh, yeah you see the trail is visible even on Google Earth Ivan Thomas Road and before I used to make the mistake to continue that way a couple of times, which eventually should be another uh, option of getting to Fisher Ridge. 
along this way. But I'm not gonna go that way today. And uh, I'll keep going around this way to see how bad the road is going to be. I want to show you <coughs> relative to this location uh, how the mountains look. You see the shapes. That's how you know where you are. So yeah, I came from there. Uh, that's uh, Ivan Thomas Creek where I I came from the left, from that side. Came this way, and I'm continuing that way. The creek is uh, has a fork, a south fork here. So yeah. This is a burn Dewitt route, GPS route from a few years back. Pretty soon uh, he turned towards that ridge, but uh, I myself most likely am not going to do that yet. because uh, the ridge is supposed to be really bad lots of uh, sharp big boulders spread all around the slope which is uh, and it's uphill too and it's extremely difficult and dangerous to walk on if you slip you might break your leg or some twist an ankle you don't want to do that so I keep continuing. I actually crossed uh, from uh, the other side, just a uh, hundred meters back there. I was on the other side for a while. I am at uh, an intersection. You can see on Google Earth a trail that goes uh, pretty much towards Mount Denny, but eventually it ends up there while uh, that's uh, where I am now on a location while my continuation will be straight up this way I'll see how far I can go because uh, Fisher Peak is right here I will show you around. Yeah, I'm not far from uh, my last video location where I made. You see that's a trail on the left. That's where I came from. And this is a fork. And uh, that's the one on visible on Google Earth. While uh, here it stops on, uh, in my case. But that's where I'm going on a Ivan Thomas Valley continuation. On the way to Fisher Peak, I arrived at elevation 2200. I know how accurate my old GPS is. But this is a talus I was uh, talking about that should be avoided. As of now, I'm deciding which way to continue. Looks like a chimney may be accessible. If not, I'll have to go to the left or something. Hmm. Or maybe to the right.
7.30 in the morning after bivouacking I decided to try to go that way behind me the normal route goes uh, a little bit earlier goes up to the ridge that way somewhere that's a Vern's trip report and many others well a few others actually there are not many trip reports but all of them they go pretty much that way except for uh, one trip report that recommends going that way so that's where I'm going because it's supposed to be you see the grass and go reach the grass and then continue uh, we'll see going to zoom on some familiar peaks we'll have uh, likely from higher up of course but the morning sun is so good now that it will be a shame not to The wedge, McKay, Mount McKay and McKay Hill. And then I'll definitely film again later. I'm in the center of that uh, Brown triangle elevation here twenty two thousand eighty eight meters. Hang on, let me see. Is it two thousand or twenty one hundred? No, twenty two. 2288 Wow, okay The summit of Fisher is uh, 3050 So let's say I got hmm, Less than uh, 800 meters But of course <laughs> It's one of the most difficult Scrambles in uh, Alan Kane's book. Yeah, so uh, I managed to simply walk around this cree and uh, come up this grassy slope. Quite enjoyable actually, that's why I didn't uh, opt to go up on uh, that valley for that variant that only one person did it so it's a question mark it's hard to find, uh, lots of route finding there so from here I just simply head towards the ridge would be nice to be grassy like here. It's a real, it's it's an amazing flowery meadow and grass here.
trailhead is very far away in that direction and uh, along that uh, creek I came this yesterday and uh, then I bb it somewhere somewhere over there by the creek on this side of the creek Yeah, very very hard to find footage from this location on the internet or anywhere Look at the shape of the rock like a yeti yeti footprint so much talus here but uh, it's so flat, like I expect it to be, you know, very thick boulders, but it's not, which is quite uh, nice actually, because those big boulders that I had on uh, my other trip attempt to Fisher Peak from the north side. Those were, uh, wow, horrible, horrible and exhausting. Well, these ones are pretty stable so far anyway. So yeah, that's uh, where I came along. Came along this uh, little ridge here and down to the left there, all in a grass. Only here I have finally and uh, I should be on a ridge very soon surprise surprise <laughs> I wasn't expecting that that's for sure wow like Vern Vern's GPS was uh, yeah close to my route however it just uh, probably following that way below this as opposed to up here wow <laughs> but anyway it doesn't matter just gonna do a 360 panorama from this spot and decide what to do next I can see from here such a, an extensive panorama of the area I was so interested in I'll show you Particularly that one when I was trying to figure out if I can merge that's Paradise Pass from Rocky Creek to get to this Ivan Thomas and yeah looks doable definitely probably lots of bush but still doable I should try it sometime It's a beautiful uh, plateau where I was supposed to be. If I uh, didn't have the chosen this wrong route, <sighs> wow, huh. what a surprise. So now the question is should I go? back down and uh, try to go along to see what's going on over there or or what definitely this down climb it's not doable here I saw a marmot down in a 
Valley. But I won't bother with it. I have filmed too many marmots. Yeah, I'll just uh, take pictures after this and start descending. Even my uh, backpack is not very solidly stable here. You can see Van Thomas Creek all the way to the trailhead so far. Seven kilometer bike biking and uh, the rest just hiking. Mostly on uh, Ivan Thomas Creek. Direction uh, Paradise Pass. So quiet and peaceful and not a single cloud in the sky. I wish I had more time though today to be able to explore uh, that valley. But uh, I might just do that. Once I get down the ridge I came along, this one, I'm gonna go down and on the grass and then traverse on a scree and then reach the valley and see how far it goes around. That will be interesting to find out. Yeah, elevation here <clears throat> twenty four ninety one meters. I shall conclude here. I'm doing now a quick 360 panorama from my highest point here, a dead end on this rib. As you can see, I intersected Vern's truck 
and uh, there's no way he went their way, obviously, because that's where I was, at that uh, little fissure that I call it now. Maybe due to some uh, GPS uh, mismatch, maybe he went this way, all the way to the ridge, hard to say. And it came up from here. I don't know. But it uh, doesn't look too appealing to me. And uh, I think for 10 minutes I only lost 100 meters elevation vertical. I have two options. I can go for my original option by uh, going back to where I came and continue on the valley or going for the fissure ridge from here I don't know, it looks very very steep Mount Allen with the rock garden. And I believe there must be Mount Baldy. Yeah, so I uh, decided to still attempt Mount Fisher. I go as far as I can. Here I am. Uh, I reach this boulder field. No matter how how much research I I did to to try to avoid it. I can't. I couldn't. I mean, uh, but anyway, slowly I should uh, make my way up. I don't know if there is any trail on the ridge. I am below the ridge, but I'm not gonna bother going. I go uh, on a shortcut here. So. So yeah, like I said before, that uh, ridge, I went up to this high point, then I went down there and then I traversed and I came on the grassy slopes. Vertical ascent, longer than uh, the tallest building in Calgary. So. Uh, Here I am now. Amazing area. Yeah, I made it on a ridge. But boy, what a... What a precarious ascent. Like literally, boulders like this were sliding down if I wasn't careful. Absolutely nightmarish. 
basically I was trying to you see behind me is uh, where I was at 10 10 in the morning now it's 1 30 p.m. behind me it's uh, that uh, what I I called it little fisher and uh, as you know I went uh, back down and then traversed on the right and then traversed here and I was hoping to get onto the other side to climb up on that scree and then all the way to whatever the summit I guess if it is possible however like I said it was uh, slab covered with uh, loose very very loose big boulders and uh, I had a kind of rib I was supposed to go down on the other side but it was uh, you know it was pretty much impossible to down climb with that uh, horrible scree so then I decided to give up and I came up here it would have been nice if I was uh, traversing down even earlier in a day I could have done that easily from the other side but yeah my memory card was full Yeah, I really don't know what to do now. I'm glad I made it up here. It's still early in the day at 1.30, but uh, the three very difficult sections are up ahead. And I don't know I don't know the way down via normal route which is at uh, amphitheater so uh, it's a risk you know because I gotta wake up at Then uh, 5.30 in the morning and last night I couldn't sleep a second because I was scared of bears so I couldn't sleep Yeah, that's uh, the valley I went one time I don't know which way did I arrive, maybe, hmm, maybe the other valley. <sighs> yeah, it has to be the other valley behind it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember. Anyway. I better hurry. It's a long slog. Still on. Wow. I'm at the first down climb. Huh. Now that's pretty exposed, you know. Well, it's a summit and there are uh, two more steps along the way besides this one talk about not bringing rope when you need it and I brought it last time I was here well, not here, on the other side of the ridge but I didn't need it I wasn't expecting that.
lost the rope again. Man. So yeah, finally I get to film <coughs> the east-southeast approach uh, Rick, to Rick Collier is talk was talking about. Has to be there somewhere in that gully. Wow, that's not the one I thought. It's quite far. connected down below Not well hydrated. And uh, what can I say? I'm uh, tired and you know all the rest of excuses, you know. But anyway, I'll decide shortly. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do it to the summit today. Reason being a uh, lack of time and also lack of water. I only have I only have half a no, not even half a liter. Maybe 400 uh, milliliter of water for the whole trip until I descend to the creek again. I, I'm not thirsty right now, but you don't want to be dehydrated uh, on this route. So it's a tough call, you know. Very tough call, it's a uh, truge to get here. 
last time I carried two ropes, never used them. Now, now I got no rope where it would be so, so handy. So yeah, I'll take a decision very soon. I'm gonna change uh, in my approach shoes. See, test that descent to see how it feels, and if I don't like it, I give up. Which is uh, by the look of it, most likely what's going to happen today. So yeah. A sea of mountains, some dry, some have some snow and some have a lot of snow, or glaciers. Yeah, I took my decision, I'm not gonna continue. The rock is way too crumble, like look look at the loose rocks, everything can fall on you. You die without any any hope, you know. Like look at the exposure. This is a serious climb, you know, it's not a scramble, forget about it. <laughs> no way. This kind of loose rock, when you are tired on a, after a sleepless night is dehydrated, forget it. Not for me, thanks. So that's uh, the second step, I believe, ahead, and the third one following. And uh, at the very, before the summit, there is a kind of a gully going all the way down. I'm going to film it in a bit. Yeah, you see, I even uh, changed my pro shoes, but I won't bother. I was checking the rock quality. It's uh, horrendous, it's no... It's no worse. Look, look at the loose rocks, look at that. If that one falls on you, you gotta go over there. Forget it. That's uh, free soloing and uh, it's poor quality rock for free soloing. <laughs> no. With a rope, yeah. But even... Even the big rock seems to be just about to fall off. You see how it's just uh, sitting there. Good lord. I can't really zoom on it because the sun is in my eyes. I can't see anything, but it's pretty obvious. Yeah, you gotta... Wow. I mean, to be honest, when I was on the other side of... Uh, Fisher Peak last year or a couple of years ago, I can't remember with ropes. I mean to climb up from that side to the top looked easier, much easier than this. And I didn't do it. Well over there I ran out of time and also drinks. My lips were cracked from the first Today I'm not as bad, but uh, just about uh, not far uh, far away. So <coughs> yeah, it's in insanity. <laughs> Me personally, I, I never seen such a such a ridiculous uh, scramble that people actually do. Forget it. Yeah, when I will come back, 
I will go along that uh, pass over there and should be just a moderate scramble no ex no much exposure or no nothing according to Rick Collier <sighs> yeah I wish I went there today but uh, you know it didn't work out uh, according to plan so what can I say it's always another time yeah definitely I'll uh, I'll go for that option one day it's nice so basically it's located by that uh, brown kind of landslide it's good to know yeah that's what I'll do free soloing uh, with this crappy rock is not my kind of hobby you know so uh, I'm gonna start descending, it's quarter to four It's gonna be an insane return all the way to the Highway 40 parking lot Wow huh. So far Yeah, I forgot to zoom on uh, an alpine lake I'll try There should be no view okay, I can't get enough of that sublime meadow, green meadow It's worthy of uh, the final Soccer World Cup in 2026 when uh, US, Canada, Mexico hosted. Imagine uh, <laughs> a stadium there. Of course, it's just uh, a metaphor, you know. And look at those uh, McKay hills, also brilliant. They look so like green and the trees, wow, the pastures, spectacular. Yeah, it was much easier the descent on a ridge. Now I got some grass. Table, some of them, and uh, it's a serious hazard for your legs. They're all around. Get by. Yeah, gotta take it easy now. Yeah, I started descending on. Uh, East side gully on a grass here. Look at those boulders. There are more boulders like that on uh, the other side. I want to avoid that. Almost back at even Thomas.
creek on the other side as uh, as of what I climbed this morning. Uh, and yesterday, yeah, I came this way because uh, I wanted to avoid these boulders uh, to descend on grass. There were all kinds of difficulties, uh, zigzagging and everything, but at the end it worked out, so that's good.